Howdy do, Ben Coton here. Welcome back for another video. And in this video, we're going to do a shout out. But before we do that, I'm going to make a brew and then show you my tomato plants for a little update. Howdy do! Here we are again. So, I've made a brew, and here's your shout out, Mr. Fritzel and your family and your children. Thanks for watching. So, you would like a an update on my tomato plants. So, let's go and have a look. Here we are. So, it's the 12th of June, and as you can see, the tomato plants, all 20 of them, are doing very well. We've had some good weather. We've had some not so good weather. Um, but I've been watering them whenever they've needed to. Sometimes it's twice a day. Sometimes it's once a day. Um, and they're looking very green. And at the end of the day, they're not dead. So I'm not doing a bad job. Um, you can see that I've strung them up. And I've been tending to them because as tomato plants grow they tend to need a bit of tender loving care. Um, there's for example here's one that needs a bit of care. This is uh, an extra stalk that the the tomato plants try and grow. Um, and they're not a good idea, so we'll push, pull those out, and that's that's it there. And we can discard that, and I can see another one on this plant that can come off. Also, in between the main branches, you can see here, that's what they call an eye. Um, the eye of the tomato plant, and they're not a good idea as well. And the reason I'm pulling these out is because they take um, all the nutrients um, from the, the leaves that they get from the sunshine down to the roots and it doesn't give, them, um, doesn't give the plants a best, the best start in the world for growing, um, growing taller and bigger and also for the fruit that's, that will be coming in the next month or so uh, when the tomato plants get bigger so also what I wanted to show you Mr Fritzel and your children and everybody else is you can see two pots there with two plants and another pot over here with two plants and all those plants are the same and they are sunflowers they were given to me by my parents um, for myself and my children to enjoy so hopefully when they get to maximum height of about four to five feet we will have a good sunflower on them um, so we can enjoy those so at the moment back to the tomato plants um, if you watch my other video you'll know when I planted these um, seeds and I've done a couple of other update videos so go and check those out um, and you'll be able to figure out how old these plants are um, they're probably from from day one three months old um, and I'm expecting them to get to m the height of my fence top which is about six feet um, which is about as tall as I am and they will look lovely so hopefully, if we have some nice weather, we'll be able to enjoy these tomato plants um, August, September time. 
In the corner there, near my bin, we have a couple of fruit trees. They're either pear or apple trees. I'm not 100% sure because I planted quite a lot and lost track of what they were. So they're doing quite well now actually because the the other ones haven't done very well. They've died. I, I planted about six altogether. Um, and at the start of this year, the plant, the trees there were looking very poor. Um, I did consider whether they would make it into the summer, but they seem to have done, and they're looking very nicely, actually. They're growing the leaves, and they're growing extra branches, so they're doing all right. I've also bought an Acer there, um, an Acer Palmatum, or Palmatum, um, Orange Dream. Um, and I got that from my local Morrison's superstore and it's doing okay now. Um, also on the plant front next to it we have um, some cabbage seeds um, just finishing themselves off so I can dry them and then in the autumn I can grow some cabbages and they will be Savoy cabbages. Very nice. Uh, what else do we have to update you with? We have the olive tree and the olive tree is doing very well as well. It's got some nice green leaves on it and it's also growing some olives on it. Um, you can see if we go a bit closer the little round things there, there we are they will turn into olives if they get fertilized um, and they probably won't do because there isn't another olive tree in the close vicinity. We have underneath on the pot some mint and mint is very nice to go with potatoes, new potatoes in particular. This big green bush is Tabories and Tabories are a hybrid um, fruit I believe of strawberries and raspberries and they taste very nice. Um, the crop isn't as large um, as the other crops, the strawberries and raspberries, but it's not too bad. Next to that we have black currants and the ants seem to like that uh, bush so we, we have to tend to that one but they are very nice. Good source of vitamin C there. And this one next to it is red raspberries. And that's always uh, a good crop from that one. Um, it's just in the early stages after being cut down at the end of last year. Here we have one of our Christmas trees that we had um, for the past two or three years in the house at Christmas time. It's a very slow grower, um, but it, it looks very nice. Um, so there we are. Thank you, Mr. Fritzel, for asking for an update on my tomato plants. Thank you, everybody else, for watching. If you would like um, an update video, please let me know. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to my channel, like this video, and check out my other videos. Be nice to each other. Bye-bye.